America trip is here in Lisbon, Portugal. First time ever. Let's go explore. Is that good? <laughs> landed in Portugal pretty pretty tired so from here we're gonna head off to our Airbnb maybe sleep for a few hours and then go check out Lisbon all right so we're on to our official first day in Lisbon this is actually a very quick stopover just before we head over to Italy so we're only actually gonna be in Portugal for two and a half days so we have a lot to do in a little bit of time and we haven't planned anything. So we actually just got up from a nap, got in this morning at 6 a.m. People recommend not taking naps when you, when you fly over to Europe because you're going to get jet lagged. But if you watched last week's video, I let you guys know I hadn't slept in probably about two weeks. So a nap was necessary. Yeah, I don't think two or three hours is going to kill me. Probably, probably helped me a lot. So anyways, Ashley and I are both very starved. So we're going to go walk around, try to find some local food, scope out the area that we're in, and hopefully share some of that with you. And we're pretty excited because Lisbon looks pretty cool, even, even though we've only been exposed to it momentarily driving from the airport to our Airbnb. It just, the architecture, the, the layout of the streets, everything looks amazing. And we are very excited to actually just walk around and get to scope it out and, and see it really for ourselves. So we're going to bring that to you momentarily. Here we go. walking on the uh, streets in Lisbon. The streets are pretty tough. They're, there's a lot of hills. But the, the town is, or the city is absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna try to enjoy some lunch and then uh, go find some coffee. I had to get my IPA, of course. I was very thrilled that they had craft beer here because I only drink good beer, so. Mm. But really, but really, or are you just doing your normal? Oh, it's good. It's not as hoppy as I'd like. Uh, it's Ashley nice. has a problem. Ashley has a problem with tasting something on film, and it always tastes amazing. So if you guys watch her other channel, start giving her shit until she <laughs> actually starts being real. Because I taste the left leftovers sometimes, and I watch her videos, and I go, "How how in the hell did you think that specific thing tasted good?" She's like, "I don't want to be mean." I'm like, "Be honest." So keep her honest, guys. Keep her honest. <laughs> so let's ask her again. Is the beer good? It's really good. Legitimately? It's good. It's good. Right. I mean, I'll drink. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. It's good. Alright, it's good. Yeah. yeah it's good. Right. <laughs> so we've been walking around Lisbon for a little bit now, and uh, I already have a, a bone to pick. A problem, if you will. The city is too beautiful when, when you're hungry. Like, it's too... It's too amazing to walk through these streets when you're starving because, well at least when you have a camera in hand, because you just want to keep taking pictures and filming and every nook and cranny of the city is gorgeous. And the streets are like a maze, a maze drawn by an artist is a good way of putting it. And you, you dip into a random walkway that goes in between these buildings and zigzags around and you end up in a huge plaza where it's very lively, restaurants and music. 
it's fantastic. It's very hilly, you have great views of the ocean, a lot of old buildings, a lot of nice artwork on the buildings. Very beautiful town. And we kept passing up restaurant after restaurant being like, oh, maybe what's, maybe what's around this corner? Maybe it'll be a really good view, an even better view. Yeah, so it's just, it's my, the problem I have is if you're hungry, don't walk around. Just finished eating, the food is really, really, really good. I have no idea if it was actually like Portuguese food or not. I had some lamb, like a lamb stew, which kind of seems English to me. And Ashley had pork cheeks, I think. Pork cheeks. This fabulous food though, really, really tasty. Came with like three courses. Everything was really good. The soup was good, the dessert was good. The beer was great. The beer was great. Anyways, it's very hilly here and I'm tired. I'm already out of breath. We're gonna try and find some coffee, scope out the town a little bit more, figure out what to do tonight, and maybe look into a scooter rental so we can get around town kind of on our own will a little bit easier because I want to scope out a place to fly the drone. So I need to find somewhere that's maybe not necessarily remote, but not with a thousand people around, which might be hard to do, at least on foot. So a scooter might be necessary. So that is something I'm gonna to add to the list of things to find. All right, we're here at this plaza. It was built in 1875 by General Custer. Um, he made the fountain. It means a lot to the people here. Yeah. Actually, we have no idea where we're at. Ashley really wants coffee, so I'm gonna have to stop giving you fake information. Sorry. I've been trying to get to this coffee shop and Mark acts like he had no idea. Anyways, they have these amazing... <laughs> the whole time you're like, what, where are we going? I'm like, we're going to this certain coffee shop. You're like, oh, we're going to stop here. I'm like, no, there's a certain one. Chris, you know who you are. You referred us here. And we had to get these little guys. Pastel de nata. It's like a delicacy of Portugal. All right, go ahead and take a bite. What do you think? It's really good. It's like really flaky pastry. I think it's like cheese or something? I don't know, it tastes really good. Really young. <laughs> good. Oh, it really was. Yeah. It's not cheese. It's cheese. It's not. It's like a creamy something cheese. that might be dairy based but it's not cheese. <laughs> not cheese. Like a creme brulee or something? Which is not cheese. No, I think it's cheese. Look at that. It's like a sugary um vanilla stuff. Creamy dessert. But cheese is not how I describe it. <laughs> Yeah, so on top, you can taste the um, sugars have been kind of torched, just like they would do with creme brulee. I'd say it's... It's like creme brulee. Yeah, it's, that's it's what like I said. It's like a pa flaky pastry on the outside. But aside from that, it's creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme fraiche. Something interesting has happened to us today, over and over again. We've been asked, I think, three or four times now if we're YouTubers. Keep in mind, we've been plenty of places and filmed it. We've never once been asked if we're YouTubers and I've come to the conclusion it's the only difference between this trip and other trips 
is I have a gorilla pod. It looks like that, right? That's the only difference. And automatically you get one of those and everyone thinks you're a YouTuber, which we are, but apparently I wasn't wasn't fitting into the cult life of YouTube until I got this gorilla pod. But we're but now now we're now we're part of the club. Anyways, we're gonna try and walk to the ocean right now and see what we can see down there. I'm still scoping out a place to fly my drone and somewhere to rent a scooter from, I think. have these courtyards with musicians playing. It's really, it's actually, it's a great place to hang out. And I'm really, really, really glad that we're here. It's very relaxing and going from being extremely stressed a day ago to being here is like, the world's a difference. It's very happy that I'm here. Maybe we'll catch the sunset and uh, plan our tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching today's episode and make sure to subscribe and check back next week for our second day in Lisbon. All right, catch you guys later.